Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. I'm super excited for this tutorial. It's a really short one, but here's the best thing about this tutorial. I'm going to teach you guys how to use surfaces. Now, surfaces are a really powerful um, tool in Game Maker. You can use them to do lighting. You can use them to do uh, decal type uh, effects on the ground without taking up a lot of processing power. You can do them for shadows. Surfaces are great. So I wanted to come up with what I thought might be the simplest uh, surface example that I could possibly create. So this is one object and this is a surface that allows you to um, cre create kind of a kind of like a drawing type uh, game or application so it's it's really really basic but it'll teach you guys how to use surfaces um, on the lowest level so that later you can uh, use them for more advanced things and I might do more tutorials on them as well so for this tutorial we don't need any sprites um, in Game Maker all you need to do is create a new object and we're gonna call this object paper because this is gonna be the surface that holds uh, that holds or, or the object that holds our surface. Now add a add an event, add a create event, and drag over a code. Okay, we're just going to call this initialize the surface. Um, and this is actually part of what I'm putting in my Game Maker book. So this is one of the examples that I have in my Game Maker book. If you want to check that out, I've got a link in the description. I've been writing it. The, the, the book isn't finished yet, but I have a rough draft version out um, that people have told me they really enjoyed so far. So let's uh, create some variables. We're going to create one called surface and set that equal to no one for now. No one evaluates to negative four, I'm pretty sure, not 100% on that, but um, it, it just it's just basically uh, means we don't have anything there yet. So we're going to do mouse x previous <laughs> um, equals mouse x mouse y previous equals mouse y. So we're just going to use these two variables to keep track of the mouse's um, last position, the position that it held before its current position. Okay. Now the create event's done, we need to add a game end event. So do uh, event, add event other game end. And the reason is because when you uh, end the game, you need to make sure and destroy your surface. Um, if you don't, you'll get a memory leak. So inside of here, we're going to do destroy the surface. And we're going to do if surface exists, um, surface. surface free surface so that just deletes the surface when the game ends so we don't get a memory leak now this is the only part of this tutorial that, that might need some explaining that's uh, more than usual it's going to be a little bit more complicated add a draw event and make sure it's just a normal draw event drag over a code we're going to call this draw the surface Okay, the first thing we need to do is if, we need to check if the surface exists again. Surface exists, surface. So if the surface exists, we're gonna do some stuff. Um, if it doesn't exist, we need to create it. Now here's why. Surfaces in GameMaker, um, they're not guaranteed to be there. <laughs> so uh, there's potential that you could lose your surface. And if you do lose your surface, then you need to uh, you can rec you can have your code recreate it. So this just says, oh, if the surface is gone, meaning did we lose the surface? Because because surfaces are volatile um, in Game Maker, you just you're not sure you're not 100% sure that it will be there all the time. So that's okay. We can just we can plan for that and work with it. So do surface equals surface create. Now when you create a surface, um, this will also run the very first draw event, by the way, because we won't have a surface yet. So when you create a surface, you give it a width and height. So we're going to do 640 by 
360. And um, surface set target. What this does is it tells GameMaker that the next code that comes after this, um, the next little bit of code, draw or run that code onto this new surface. And usually you draw something, so it's going to draw something onto our surface. So GameMaker normally draws stuff on what's called the application surface, um, which is just game makers game maker has a standard surface that it draws everything to in your game when uh so you've been using surfaces just you didn't know it because game maker automatically does everything on the application surface so we're telling it not to draw to the application surface anymore we want to draw on our surface so tell it that we want to draw on our surface now we're going to draw clear alpha c white and one. So what this does is it just draws um, a white color onto the entire surface with an alpha value of one. So it'll it just fills the entire surface, makes it into a white blank page. Now we want to do um, sorry surface reset target. Now that tells Game Maker that we need to set the we need to draw on the application surface now. So we're done drawing on our own surface, switch back to the application surface. Okay, now what are we going to do if the surface exists? Well, we need to check if the player is pressing the mouse button. And if they are, we're going to draw some lines. So do if mouse check um, button MB left. So we're going to check if they're pressing the left button. Then we're going to do some things in here. What are we going to do? surface set target because we want to draw onto our surface again so we need to tell game maker that now we're going to draw a circle um, this is just to help connect the lines better mouse x mouse y three i'm just going to do a size of three or a radius of three and false because it won't be an outline and we want it to be solid now we need to, I'm going to maximize this because we need this next line of code is going to go pretty far over. So draw line, line width, um, mouse x previous. Um, this is our first x position, mouse y previous. That's our next, um, that's our y position. Then we want to do mouse x, <coughs> mouse y, and we're going to give this a width of 8 on this line. Now we need to uh, do surface, reset target, no, yeah, reset target, um, and tell GameMaker that we're done drawing on our surface. You can now draw on the application surface again. Um, now that we're drawing on the application surface, um, if we left this the way it is, uh, it would actually do all of this and work. It would be drawing and everything, but we wouldn't be able to actually see our surface because we're not drawing the actual surface, we're just drawing on the surface. And surfaces are completely invisible until you actually choose to draw the surface. Right now we're just drawing onto the surface. So um, let's draw the surface now. Draw surface, surface and you give it an X and a Y position for where you want it to draw. I'm just going to do 0 and 0. And then I'm going to do mouse X previous equals mouse X. Mouse Y previous equals mouse Y. So now that we've actually drawn the line, we can update the mouse X previous and Y previous for the next step. Okay. Now that is all. That's it. You, you're using the surface. Now let's uh, create a room and put this object in the room for our object player and we'll save the game and we'll run the game. Now the first thing you'll notice is that we've got this gray area out here. Well that's because our surface is actually smaller than our room. So it's drawing the surface at 0.00, .00 but our room is actually bigger. But if you see right now 
if I try and click to draw outside of here, we can't because that's outside of our surface. So let's draw up here now. And there we go. We can draw lines onto the surface. And we're using a surface. So uh, what, what are we doing here? Well, we created this white surface. And then we just draw onto the surface like we were doing. And then we draw the surface to the room. Now, this, the way it's set up right now, you might think, oh, well, I could just create the same thing that you're doing without surfaces. And you're right, you could. You could create this without surfaces. But um, if you were to do a lighting example, or if you were to do shadows, or anything like that, um, it's basically impossible to do those types of things without using a surface because surfaces are kind of like a dynamic sprite it's like you can create your own sprite while the game is running and that's one of the reasons they're so powerful um, you can you can update backgrounds so you can copy your background to a surface add some new things to the background boom copy it back into your game and then you've created a new background sprite using a surface and you don't have to have objects for all those things or even tiles so it's just really cool so I hope you learned something in this video uh, I really appreciate you guys support be sure and like favorite and if you haven't already be sure and subscribe um, once again if you want to check out my game maker book it's uh, it, there's a link in the description uh, I'm still working on it but I'm really happy with what I have so far so Thank you guys again, and I will talk to you guys later.